Hello everyone, my name is Kyle and welcome back to our let's play of some modded uh, Civ leaders here. I am joined by my friend and co-host of Civcast, Valter. Hello, Valter. Hey, Kyle. We are in a, uh, a kind of intense game here. At least we've been war riddled since the very beginning. I'm playing oh, yeah. as Louis the Fourteenth, and you are Frederick the Great. Uh, so yeah, I guess let, let's get back into this bad boy. You're over there taking uh, Egypt cities, and I'm getting I'm preparing to take one of Germany's. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's looking good. It's it's Egypt's capital as well, so that's good. Oh, uh, sadly, Germany's capital. I think. If you, whatever you're able to see over here, it looks like it might be very hard to get to terrain-wise. I think you might be, well, then again, and the north probably it will have enough terrain. But if you can get like one quadream or something, ah, oh, you don't have any coastal cities, that's sad. Because no, one of those quadreams would be really powerful, I think. Yeah, you're probably right. It's just, uh, yeah, I may have to actually go naval in a little bit just to do that. Yeah, it might actually be a good idea. Looking at what we've got here, I'm going to be pushing people through these mountain passes, and there's a lot of them, so... Yeah. I don't know. Suspect. Uh, I think I'm going to get more trade routes up and running. I'm almost about my third city. That was a lot of damage. They just pushed more archers down here. All right, so let's see. Boom. Take that, Frederick. Archer dead. <clears throat> Start assaulting the city. See what we can do. Okay, we took it down halfway in one turn. I like it. I'm so surrounded by enemies that my trade route actually has nowhere else to go because it's so flush with bad guys over here. It's like, nah, no. Uh, let's see, I think we want... Let's build a commercial hub, we need the cash. For now, I think we have enough swordsmen to take our other cities as well. Oh, Arabia is actually bringing some uh, Boudicca against me and some Mamluks. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Mamluk. I see them right there. Oh, and the Mamluks, they heal every turn, right? I think so. Even I after think they so. So let's go and get me a Archer. Luckily, that's a one turn thing. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's really going to br bringing down some units. But I might be able to steal Boudicca from him. I did lose an archer, but that's okay. Because I thought I was going to lose a swordsman. And I'd rather lose an archer, to be honest. Yeah, I think I can agree with that statement. Alright, so we're definitely going to take the city this turn. There we go. You captured a unit as well. Uh, keep the city because we have to. We don't have a choice. Move in there. Granada's our enemy, right? They don't like us. I am not certain. Oh, he's really bringing down lots of units. Catapult included. Oh, scary. Yeah. Well, I guess we need another archer. Speaking of archers, Germany keeps sending <laughs> he keeps sending archers at me, and luckily with the setup I've got here, they're getting picked off pretty easily. Now that's interesting. I might be able to, may very well be able to move one of my warriors to go capture Frederick Settler. Depends if he puts him down soon or not. Let's see. Because I would be okay with piecing out against, uh, what's her name? Egypt now, since I have a capital, I guess. Well, then again, we might as well destroy them, right? Teach him a lesson. Yeah, I can't guarantee that I'm going to be able to take him out. 
just with the time allotted over here because uh, it just doesn't feel like I'm going to be able to. That's okay. I, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I that doesn't mean we shouldn't sue for peace. I want to take this one city, but then... Uh, Granada actually seems to be happy with me. So they're good guys, right? Oh, because you're, you're, yeah, you, oh wait, no, that's Carthage. That's Carthage. I'm, I'm buddies with Carthage. <clears throat> Arabia, but you're not at war with me? Okay. So Granada's not warlock, but they're not exactly thrilled, I'm sure. Hmm, right. Oh man, I should get people over to Aleppo because that city does not have walls. <laughs> Uh, yeah, go uh, and attack that stupid guy that is trying to attack me. I don't like him. Yeah, I got my archer shooting at him. Should definitely get some spearmen, actually, because that's... I heard that's pretty good against cavalry units. Yeah, I've got uh, one guy. Gonna send another envoy. How is Carthage doing? Four. That's good. Uh, I can send an envoy to Hong Kong. It's probably... Oh, Granada. Yeah, let's send one to Quad Granada. I can use that. So I think another two turns maybe before I take another city of Egypt. Ah, uh, that's going okay. Promotion available. I love the sound of that. Mm -hmm. I wish this warrior could just get promoted. He might die now. Why did he get elite guard as well? I don't think I upgraded him to that. I had a warrior... <laughs> Huh. Day. Yeah, I mean, yes, but also, what? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, me neither. I mean, I, I take it, right? But Exactly. Um, yeah, sure. Area kind of blows this battle. Oh. It does look like Egypt is also trying to build the pyramids, and it's actually almost done in the city that I'm about to go and conquer in Ooh, next turn or so. That's the question of, like... <laughs> do yeah, do I wait a little bit, like let her build it, or could be worth it. It actually m might be worth it. Yeah. Um, oh, poor warrior. I know you're not gonna make it, but thanks for trying. Oh, there we go. Aha! Granada trade route happening. Good. And that was a quest of theirs. So. On hey, the good on you. Yeah, that means some uh, nice unit production in the capital. And some trade. Oh, do I need to throw in some new policies this turn? Oh, no, I think I already committed. No. Uh, Actually, I want to swap some tiles because you can work this. Hmm. Production of settlers, wonders isn't going to help me. How's I need? I think that's about it. All right. Can you sell buildings in this game? Not really. Oh, okay. Was interesting thought. I think I might kill Boudicca next turn. Oh, there went my stupid warrior man. And I think I kill Boudicca. Which I guess is I a it. good thing. Small glitch. My catapult thinks that it is a barbarian that has seen my city. <laughs> oh, right. It's still happening for some reason. It's really weird. Yeah. Oh, goody. We can use... Um, 
how do you feel about pe trying to piece out Arabia and Montezuma? No problemo there. Me neither. Let's see if I take one. After I take the city, of course. Ta-da! Siege tower. Yeah, I'm making really great use of that one. Ah! Oh, make peace. Crap, my archer moved. I did not mean for that to happen. Okay, Arabia what? doesn't like peace. Montezuma... Montezuma would give me like peace. Shall, shall I make peace with Montezuma? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. It gives me five gold, and, uh, five gold per turn and three gold in general for one sugar, which I have two of. So that's good. Uh, let's make peace. Because we're focusing on the other team anyway. Exactly. Now these guys aren't going to get peace so easily. Alright, so that oh, takes off a bit. Of so yeah. much wheat. Really? Your city. Gosh. Oh yeah, oh, we're going to take that. Not now, but soon-ish. Patience. Yes. Because that's a nice little thing going on there. Wow. All right. So wheat rich. I Why think you... Egypt has only one city left, so I'm making good prom progress on making sure that she will never right go. Off. Yeah. Carthage, only... I need to start fucking all... Or not Carthage, that's the fucking name, called Zone. Ah, oh, man, these mountains are gonna be brutal. you uh let's do something like that all right let's move up towards their last city the last of the egyptians sounds like a movie or something like that it does is that the last of the mohicans was a that that is a movie uh, now it's gonna be the last of the egyptians At least I assume it was a lost city. Last time I checked it was. Uh, it is. Did you know you can check how many cities they have? No, how do you do that? You try to make a peace deal with them. And oh. you can see which cities they can give away and which ones they can't. That uh, makes total sense. Yeah, and it's always plus one because they can't give away their capital. Yeah. I'm Did having a lot of fun uh. with this. Yes, me too. Egypt must be destroyed. They must. Hmm. Hmm. That's gonna hurt my archer. My economy is hurting a bit. <laughs> are you turning into the negatives? Or are you just oh, I've the been running into the negatives for quite a while. Oh I'm gosh. Negative seven. Oh, yeah, sure. I have two of those. A trade deal. Oh, wow. That's a lot of money. Thank you, Cal. You're welcome. You're fueling the Prussian war machine. I do have a lot. I do have a lot of units. It, that, I have two archers, two spearmen, a cavalryman, one, two, three, four, five, six swordsmen, and a siege tower. Oh, the siege tower is here, speaking of. <laughs> it's a really good unit. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I guess I don't even really... It's unfortunately, the walls are down. Now I'm just getting fucked off by their extra the, archer. Their next city will have walls, and uh, it will okay. really come in handy. Wow, Aleppo, you have so much wheat. Two, four, six, seven. That's a great city for water mill. Beautiful. In the future, your city will be mine. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely, I've got a new, I've got a new city over there too, so that'll help. I think I'll... Oh, I met another city state. It is N Nanmandol. Oh, they're a good one if, I, if memory serves. I, think, I have the one? no clue. I think the if memory serves, coastal tiles plus have... two uh, culture. Oh, sorry, you uh, were guessing. No, actually, 
actually, that's not as good as I had in my mind. Um, maybe you would think of Mohandaro, which maybe. if it gives culture for trade routes towards city states, I think. Uh, let's go for Divine Right. This great, this great merchant was very useful. He's the one that lets me buy, that gets annexed those tiles, and this... Oh, that's really nice. Had a lot of tiles that I wanted to annex, like rice and gypsum and oh. stone. So, so I learned things. something just now. If you What's stand that? on a great general with a military unit, you don't actually kill it. Really? Burika is still running around, so it gets teleported probably back to the closest city or something like that as with most uh units that's really interesting i always thought i killed it that is very interesting i'm surprised yeah you we can use that to our advantage both uh with our units as well as with their yeah huh the more science intervenes in the more science intervenes in war all right we can go for Gunpowder soon. Let's first get apprenticeship. Excellent. My catapult has moved into attack range. Excellent. They're hitting their city now. Uh, builders would be nice. Do I have any niter? I do. Good. Oh, I might actually go for the Alhambra if it's convenient. Nah, it's still, it's still far away. Ah, go ahead. Some wonders happening. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your your peak wonder power comes from the medieval era and the Renaissance and such. So be don't worry. Yeah, it's very true. It's when you have the plus twenty percent on all those beautiful wonders. I think I might... Yes, I have taken her last city. Goodbye, Egypt. So, that's Egypt done. Hooray! Oh, he's gonna suffer so bad now because you figure now he loses all the, the bonuses of having a team member. Exactly. It's especially brutal. Yeah. I'm happy with how that went. Uh, it also means that all the pressure is off Carthage right now. I have uh, six envoys and you're the closest one with one. So that's good. And I'm not taking your city there. Uh, you shouldn't. <laughs> Alright. I think I should put some effort in sending my military back home. Upgrade them to gunpowder dudes and go after uh, Arabia. Gunpowder. We're still fighting with archers. I mean, we haven't technically invented gunpowder yet, but we're getting uh -huh. there. I mean, Very we good. we know what niter is at least. We have military engineering. Things go boom. Yes. And all of a sudden, I'm a lot more richer as well. Currently, a 15 gold per turn. Oh. Things changed. They did indeed. Builder. Build, builder, build. You got a promotion. Oh, little archer over here. I should get you back in the bounds. Really I hard. do need a builder as well. I could use like 17 builders. Oh yeah, I have a lot, especially with all the stuff that oh, I just I conquered. <laughs> oh man. Probably have tons of territory needing upgrades. Yes. Gosh, whoa, they just quickly surrounded my city here. That's interesting. Uh, let's go with a commercial hub. Or an encampment. No, let's go with a commercial hub. Huzzah! Your city has become mine. Oh. I still don't understand how I got a level 4 swordsman all of a sudden. Because I very distinctively remember him upgrading to level 2, and all of a sudden he's level 4? Ah, uh, level 3, I mean. Magic, man. Yeah. 
I should, so I'm uh, not sure if I want to keep his city down here. Do you think I should burn it? It's got, it's got Stonehenge, but that's not really important. To me. Uh, it's on a really good strategic location. You should keep it. Do you think it's better that I just plop a new one down? It's going to be too much effort, I think. Okay. The, the strategic location is too strong. Especially if, if it looks like it has okay production going. And it doesn't have an encampment yet. Which means if you can put, an, put up an encampment just below those two mountain tiles. In the, uh, what is it? The f jungle. That's going to be annoying against all his units forever. That's very, very true. down here oh good and my little city is going to have walls soon an allied friend reports that France has conquered Cologne <laughs> you don't say what a glorious day all the world's a stage let's see you're on barbarian duty now so are you Yeah, we need more traders. We have oh, that's a scout. That's definitely not a trader. Though the terracotta army is also still buildable. Yeah, it is. Uh, requires a stable. I don't have a thing for that. If you want to it, go, I think that's actually not correct. I think it, it requires an a bar yeah, it requires barracks or stable. The red text is not correct. If you look a little bit up, it says requires. And there it says barracks or stable, so you can have either. I don't have an encampment period in my capital. Uh, I have an encampment, but I don't have barracks. But I can build some barracks as quickly. And I think I have the policy that allows me to build things in there faster as well. I do. So let's get veterancy. Should make things a little bit faster. A little bit more hammers for me. And then send. Ooh, we can send a trade route to Musket for ten gold per turn and a free Whoa. envoy. Sign wow. me up. That's a good one. Yes, it is. One more, and I get plus four in every commercial district. I know where my envoy is going soon. Actually, Berlin is building things faster. Well, it sucks to be you, Konigsberg, but Berlin has got the priority. Almost like real life. But uh, Carl, I think unfortunately it's time for us to end the episode again. I think it is. Well, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and I hope you're enjoying our little playthrough here with our modded leaders. I know I'm loving it. Doctor, uh, how is uh, Frederick treating you? It's, it's awesome. I love it. And I'm really happy I got to conquer Egypt. Yes, and I got a city from, from Germany. So this one was a successful round. If you like this episode, give us a big old thumbs up and subscribe to our channels. Uh, we have links in the description below that will let you know where to find the other person's video. You can check out their playstyles and uh, a different vantage point for that. So we hope you uh, have enjoyed and tune in for the next episode. Until then, one more turn. Bye.